Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. This is going to be for new love or extra returns. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful dolls, let's jump right in here. So first, we're going to look at new love. Then we're going to be looking at extra returns. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so this cancer have huge potential for new love in the next three months. Show me the cards I need, you see? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands, and this is going to be the now, coming up in the now. So the current is either happening or started to happen already, or it's about to happen. And then we have the obstacle or blockage to new love. Let me just bring this down here. Then we have this energy of the, the past. And then we see that this is the goal to new love, okay? All right. And so now we have this, which is between the now and three months. This is subconscious. This is the influence your romantic love life. And this is the hopes and fears, and this is the answer. Okay. So I see seven of wands is here. So I see the bottom of the deck. There could be uh, people around this situation wanting to defend their position, uh, feeling like they have the higher ground here. It does look like in the now or what's about to happen, you're about to get a communication with the eight of wands energy. Something's going to come to a head, okay, with the eight of wands. All right, let's keep going here. Does Cancer have huge potential for new love in the next month? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So I see that there is these thoughts and these plans. Okay, someone is thinking about you. Okay, they can't get you off their mind. They want to communicate with you. Okay, with that thoughts card coming out. All right, does Cancer have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. Yes, there's someone around you in the current that's coming up that's like you're the wisest decision for them when it comes to, to love and romance. Let's also use this deck as well. Does Cancer have huge potential for new love? Show my cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. Because these cards are a little bit more difficult to shuffle, I'm just going to lay them all down here first. Okay. Uh-huh. Someone's definitely interested in some... Or somebody that you may have had some passionate situation with or definitely there's a lot they're they're thinking in a passionate way also it's like there's a dot, lot of passion on this person's mind here all right um and they can't stop thinking about you so there's a lot of strong attractions with this person who's coming forward in this communication okay so what's the obstacle or blockage to new love well there is somebody around you could be a cancer scorpio pisces energy that wants to take some kind of romantic gestures um there could be an opportunity here uh, already. Okay, so I see something about job or something like that. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, someone's giving some advice. Uh, this could be the person around you. It could be also the obstacle or blocks to this romantic situation. Could also be because this person could be a professional person in your life, okay? Like an accountant, a lawyer, right? Because I see this can be like a doctor, accountant, lawyer. There may be some romantic gestures, but I see that it's something about job or career that could be the obstacle or blockage here in this situation, okay? Because a uh, decision is going to be made very soon, okay? Because you can already see that someone is really thinking about you, interested, you know, that kind of energy is there. So let's see what your foundation is here. Okay. The foundation is there is someone thinking about you. Okay. Okay. So there's thoughts and plans here. 
and uh, there's this concern about some kind of regret, like, uh-oh, you know, what if I do this? We see there's a party celebration or a need uh, to socialize, something about socializing. Okay, let's keep going. Which is causing a state of confusion. Mm -hmm. And it's concerns about regrets because of this job situation. But definitely you can see, uh, some, there is somebody around you, okay? In your life, guys, that is seeing you like, oh yeah, I'm definitely interested, but we have a professional career, you know, we have a professional relationship. What do I mean by professional? Like, you know how you have those awkward kind of situations where uh, cancer, like this is a, you know, your person who is helping you with real estate or like, you know, is a, a person who is your lawyer or, you know, something like that. Something about this connection is a little bit awkward. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going. In the past, there's a lot of soul searching going on about your situation. Somebody who is in desperation and a sense of despair and lots of soul searching happening here about this situation that, that, that became unsuccessful. It was, uh, you know, it was like uh, someone decided they were just like, all right, you know what? It's not going well here. So let me just cut this person out. Let me burn this bridge. Let me just not deal with this person, okay, in the past. Okay, your goal here in when it comes to your new love is a relationship and somebody who is connecting with you in the same way you're connecting with them. You also may want your twin flame, okay, or a spiritual connection here with the lover's card coming out. Um, they realize, uh, do you want them to realize your value, your worth, and and because uh, that's like the Queen of Wands energy. And I see someone who could be very healing also, maybe even involved in a healing field, okay? I see, uh, and not so focused on work. So your concern is somebody who's really work focused, or like, I don't wanna deal with somebody who is really work focused. I wanna have somebody that's really gonna be able to spend time with me, who wants to be around me, who's interested in that type of connection. Okay, so what's gonna happen between the now and the three months, let's see. All right, so I do see you guys are getting some advice from somebody, could be a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There could be a mother involved with this, uh, older feminine energy. Uh, but there's definitely some debate about the long term here. Uh, yeah, so there's a, there's this concerns about what happened before and these regrets about the situation. When it comes to this isolation or separation or single and available to pursue, could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy around this. Yeah, I see that there is definitely something about the situation involving money and finance. So you may be getting some advice about the situation. Okay. Subconsciously, what's going on? You're trying to make the wisest decision when it comes to a long-term situation, or some of you guys, there subconsciously you could be, you know, thinking about this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. If it's not the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, you're just wanting knowledge that you're making the wisest decision based on the long term, and that there is a, a love connection here, and that's when you want to make the effort. Um, I do see there's something about friendship and advice. Mm. Okay, so let's go further on this and let's talk about it. All right, so, so we got the immediate future. Now here's the influence. You guys are looking very attractive coming up. You got some choices. I do see you're focused on, you're excited about someone and you also are holding someone in high regard in your life, okay, as the influence. And there is the influence of getting over someone here. I see a morning energy or someone who's getting over you or can't get over you. There's about to be this shock and surprise here, okay? Um, and this sense of sadness here around the situation. Mm. So the influence is this family sorrow sadness, okay. So let's bring it together so far. All right, so there's definitely a lot of passion around the situation and we see something about a job or career situation and someone who has regrets about burning a bridge with someone. We see a work situation. So there's concerns about this, as I told you, it's an awkward situation here coming up because of the fact that there is something about this connection that uh, deals with money, finance, and work, yep. And uh, there's a lot of talking and speaking and advice about a friend and this family situation. Okay, so that may be how you're connecting with this person. Okay, so I see that 
the hopes and fears is you're like, I don't want to keep going around in circles here. And also you're like looking for a sense of happiness in the situation and you're concerned about some indecisions and you're kind of concerned that you're deluding yourself about this situation, but honestly you're not because you see it's here. It's the person that's thinking about you. So, so is there potential for new love? Yes, absolutely. We got this three of cups energy and also there could be a legal situation around this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got that as well. We see letter, message, document, paperwork. When the timing is right. Uh, I definitely see there's something to do with uh, maybe someone's making um, some definitive decisions, okay? Or it's seeing that maybe this, this person is going through a divorce or they're, you know, they're making the decision to maybe, um, you know, move on from this professional situation with something that could be a little bit more relaxed for them so they can move forward with this connection. But yes, there is, there is a lot of potential for you guys, for this person. So I see that there is this passionate situation and something very awkward, lots of regrets, concerns about burning a bridge when it comes to this work situation and money and finance and a lot of talking and speaking about family stuff and is concerned about deluding or feeling delusional about this because of a legal situation. Okay. All right, so we're trying to make the wisest decision very soon. A decision will be made. There's a lot of state of confusion, lots of soul searching and healing. Single and available to pursue, making an effort, shocked and surprised about the indecisions until the timing is right. So at first you guys are gonna be like, oh, maybe I'm, I'm, you know, it's in my head or my mind or whatever, but no, this person's coming forward. This person's coming forward. Okay, we see that there is this thoughts and plans. We see this advice being given, uh, obviously this, is talking about the professional aspect of it. That's but part part of the obstacle blocks to new love. It's the fact that this person's either a doctor, a lawyer, uh, you know, a counselor, someone in your life that is, um, is someone who is who's got a professional relationship with you. Maybe it could be your real estate uh, broker there. Okay, so somebody in your life around that, and it seems like there's this hanging out, and, and it's, it's it's a celebration. And you know, also how I'll talk to you about the fact when I was working as an accountant. Um, what would happen was sometimes we, uh, you know, after when we were working on a job, sometimes we would go out with the, the clients and take them out to lunch and so forth and so on. There's something going on here where you guys are hanging out and there's a sense of despair about a person. It's almost like you're talking about this other person here or a friend is around this. And, uh, and we see that there's some kind of regrets and there's concerns about love and a lot of mourning and we see happy energy, letter, message, document, paperwork. Okay because they're coming out as like a friend, but on the same token, it's awkward because it's it's that type of relationship. So we got the people around this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So let's get you guys some advice. All right, can I have some advice for my Cancers? When it comes to romantic love life, for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so just slow down. You don't have to do anything here. Just stay confident about your situation. You're gonna have all the resources that you need. Mm -hmm. Let go of control, surrender, and know your value and your worth. And also pay attention to the signs because you guys, as I always tell you, Pisces and Scorpio, you guys are like uh, already very intuitive. So listen to that intuition that you have. Okay, so let's talk about your extra turns now. So is there a huge potential for Cancer to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be the current, okay, feelings, their intentions, their actions, your advice, and the outcome. So I see that your person's wanting to tempt you with the devil card energy. Mm -hmm. Let's also get some more information here. Does cancer have huge potential to reconcile ex love interest in the next three months? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what do we got here? Mm -hmm. This person in the current, from their perspective, is in love with you, very strongly attempted, uh, you know, wanting to 
uh, they're obsessed. They are obsessed. They're thinking about you very heavily. Okay, let's keep going. Does Cancer have the potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next few months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Yeah, this person may also feel that you guys are very spiritually connected as well. How does this person feel about you? Well, they want clarity. They want answers. They, they want that. They want to know what's going on with you. This, they definitely feel like they want to do some pleasure seeking there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they can figure that if there's some clarity, they may want to just make the effort here. Okay. So that's the feeling. So you can see they're in a passionate way right now. Okay. Um, so their intentions is to get new perspective, new understanding. No, the page of swords does not mean the spine card, my beautiful new uh, uh, readers. Um, I know I see that out there a lot. It, I've been reading since I've been 14 years old. It means um, new perspective, new understanding, um, naivete, okay, immaturity, okay. I see that they also intend to understand if they can get an understanding of this new perspective, new understanding um, that they would be interested in their intentions is commitment. Mm -hmm. But they have a lot of self-doubt here. They're like really worried in their intentions. So what are the actual actions they're going to take towards you? Oh my goodness. The actual actions this person wants to take towards you is actually a relationship. And we see there is us concerns about complacency or stuck energy. Yeah, they're, they're wanting to take the actions towards making the wisest decision towards a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it does look like their intentions and their actions are showing some potential uh, relationship aspect. Your advice? Wow. You guys may be focused on a new person here, okay? Um, or understand this has to be more than just a passionate situation because this person is really serious about a relationship. Um, and you may feel trapped with this situation. And so you're gonna have to make a decision very soon. Okay, so you have a new opportunity coming up. Okay, and so some of you guys may be like uh, feeling like if you go backwards, you may feel trapped because you may feel like this other situation may coming up that may be a little bit more exciting for you. So, and yes, there is a lot of potential for you to reconcile. We see the King of Pentacles energy and a sigh of relief around this. And we see communication, letter, message, document, paperwork. Okay, so there is this, um, and I'm just bringing it together as a whole, spiritual, making an effort. Okay, so it's like intuitively you may feel spiritually connected, wanting to make an effort, but stressing and worrying and having self-doubt about making the wisest decision. So it looks like you will have to make a decision very soon because communication is coming in. Okay. We see love and going after what they want towards a commitment and concerned about stuck, stagnant energy and going around in circles and wanting to have a sigh of relief. And I can just definitely see that there is a strong temptation for your person to get new perspective, new understanding. Some of you guys may even have a child with this person because I see the page of swords it can represent children, okay, or a small amount of communication so they can get new perspective, new understanding about this relationship. And I see that you may have a new person on your mind here with the page uh, Ace of Wands. And we see this person wants to move into the long term with you. So the ex is definitely interested in some kind of long term relationship and uh, something serious there. So let's get you guys some advice. Best advice when it comes to my cancers for their highest good, for the best possible outcome for them. When it comes to reconciling with their ex love interest, the highest, best, good. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Cancer, let's take a look. So I know there's something very unique about this situation, and uh, the worst of this is over. So if, if this you feel like this is, you know, you want to move down this path, you can. There will be an opportunity that's going to present itself. You just have to see the forest before the trees. And look at this from the long-term aspect. Um, ask yourself, will this situation make you happy? And really move into moving towards positive changes here. And I see, see again about this new beginning coming up for you guys and something is gonna come to light and you are gonna have the power around this situation if you want 
to stay focused on this person or move forward towards this person, you definitely don't have any obstacles or blockages here holding you back. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I'm going to hear you guys in the comments below, okay? I do read my comments, so. And I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.